Hey, what's up, y'all? Popping this deep here to this video, but I'm just saying, this is female rappers who have switched up on Nicki Minaj. Okay, so we gonna see, you know, what rappers are on here. People always trying to, you know, say Nicki Minaj is beefing with people, but maybe, maybe it's them every single time, and maybe it has nothing to do with her. I don't know what the chances of that are, but sure. We're gonna see what's on this video. Shout out to my patron Lamar for requesting this video. Make sure y'all sign up for my Patreon if you want to guarantee that I react to your video requests. So yeah, let's see what rappers are on here. Also, the person talking, they have it's a, like a robot, so that's kind of annoying, but we're just gonna see past that. Hey there. In this video, we will be looking at the female rappers who have switched up on Nicki Minaj, the generous queen. Let's begin. Number one. Stefflon Don. For those who don't know who Stefflon Don is, she is an English rapper who is best known for her 2017 song Hurting Me, which featured French Montana. After the success of Hurting Me, Steph became more popular in the music industry and in general. However, the popularity was getting to her head. Before switching up, Steph very much liked Nikki and praised her. In a 2016 interview with Capital Radio, the radio host asked Steph what her thoughts were on Nicki Minaj, etc. Let's mean? take a look. I have, got, I have to ask you this. I mean, a lot of people may, may, may compare you to, like, you know what I mean, to maybe Nicki Minaj. How do you take that yourself? Um, first of all, I'd like to say Nicki is the best thing in a long time so like okay. it's not a diss when they say that right so as you What's can see she was very sweet when talking about nikki but things changed in 2018. Oh. steph replied to one of nikki's comments she voiced her opinion which was absolutely fine however i'm not really sure why she was disappointed with nikki when nikki was only defending herself from the lies being spread about her after that steph couldn't stop there she had to then take it to her Instagram story because the barbs were spamming her. And I completely understand that it must be annoying for her and for anyone getting the barbs all over their page but some of the things she was posting just weren't necessary. Saying Nikki is old enough to be someone's grandma is really weird and straight up not needed. Nikki is currently 38 and was 36 in 2018 so calling she her grandma when good. she was literally 36 is the most boring comment ever. But anyways, as I was saying, she posted a few paragraphs that weren't needed. Oh. It was fine at the beginning when she was just stating her opinion, but the stuff after was just for clout and it was clear. So I just woke up, uploaded the video. It's been over an hour now. Ooh. We've got over a thousand side comments. Gobs, what's going on? What the fuck is going on? What happened? Are you got tired already? How, how, how are you tired so quick? What kind of dead gobs is this? She posted that video on her Instagram, which wasn't needed either. It made Steph look bad and desperate. <laughs> it also showed how quiet her life is because if she had all that free time to post stuff like that, she clearly didn't have much going on. Child. A few months later, hey. Steph was beefing with Stylo G over his song Touchdown. Huh? Steph did a remix to the song. However, Stylo got her remix taken down for copyright. After that happened, Steph shaded him and Nikki a number of times. She tried to blame Nikki as if she had something to do with the song getting taken down when it wasn't even Nikki's song. She was just a feature on it. Everybody wanted to join in the let's blame everything on Nikki. Since then she has defended Nikki a few times and seems quiet so it's just proof of her clout chasing. Number 2. Mm. City Girls. The biggest Ooh, switchers, okay. Young Miami and JT became popular around 2018. They had been putting out a bunch of songs before that, but Twerk made things go big for them, and of course act up in 2019. I've tried my best to get all the receipts, because they have both switched on Nikki so many times over the years, so if I miss anything, please forgive me. Oh. Let's begin with Young Miami. Basically, before she was famous, she made negative comments about Nikki and positive ones. It went from this. Is that real? Though? To this. Who was that? That don't make sense. Y'all can't be believing these random screenshots that y'all find. Niggas make fake tweets all the time. Then to this. So would you work with Nikki? I just want to stay away from that question. Like, I don't want to get into that. But I am Team Cardi. City Girls is Team Cardi. Cardi support the City Girls. And then to this. Oh. JT hasn't done as much switching, but she did a little. 
A video Two resurfaced in 2019 but was filmed in 2017 where JT was talking about some rappers randomly, and of course Nicki was mentioned. JT had never showed Nikki love or talked about her properly until 2020. Young Miami and JT both now love Nikki and want to work with her and finally don't hide their love for someone they grew up listening to. I think it was clear they both joined in the let's hate Nikki game. Just because they worked with Cardi didn't mean they had to hide their love for Nikki, which they both did, but I think it's nice that time has yeah, passed like, and they don't care lie. anymore. But it still wasn't needed in my opinion. Okay, do you guys have any dream collaborations you love, whether it's male or female, artist, anything? Like, what's a dream collaboration for the City Girls? Okay. <laughs> we want to work with Nicki Minaj. Um, Girl, that's so sad. Why y'all look at like, like that's that? the only like female artist we haven't worked with yet because we have been working with female artists, so we feel like it's only right to work with Nicki Minaj. Number three, Bye, Cash City Girls. Doll. That was, Cash that Doll was. has been releasing music for a few years now. She is probably best known for her song for everybody. Also well known for her song Ice Me Out and her feature on Iggy Azalea's single Fuck It Up. Cash Doll has praised Nikki quite a few times since becoming a known artist, however things changed near the end of 2019. But before I get into that, here is a clip of Cash Doll talking about Nikki in June 2019 before things changed. Let's clear this up right now. I will love Nikki. I don't know why because we do not like this woman. I love her. So as I said before, she has praised Nikki many times and clearly in the video you just saw. You also saw her mention that the barbs get on her nerves and coarse drama for her which is fair enough the barbs go hard and I get it can be annoying, plus she already had issues with them in the past, but anyways, in November 2019, Cash Doll had linked up with Cardi B to resolve issues that they had. When the blogs posted she? that they were together, people started realizing that Cash Doll had unfollowed Nikki on Instagram. Cash Doll then took to her Instagram live and explained that she actually unfollowed Nikki two weeks before meeting Cardi and it had nothing to do with that. Let's take a look. Well, I unfollowed Nikki. I unfollowed Nikki two weeks ago. I felt like y'all was dragging me for whatever the fuck y'all was dragging me for, and I told y'all to leave my name out your mouth. She came in my DM talking crazy. And I unfollowed her ass and told her she was delusional, just like y'all motherfuckers. But she just came at me sideways, so I motherfucking unfollowed her. Firstly, it's funny how she decided oh, to talk about it after it. the night she went out with Cardi. She obviously decided to talk about the Nikki situation for clout. Secondly, nah, I'm fuck so out tired of millions of people saying she. Nikki came at them in the DMs, yet no one ever seems to show these screenshots. Once Cash Doll unfollowed Nikki, Nikki still followed her for a bit, so they probably did have a conversation but not in the way she's making out. I don't believe Nikki was acting delusional or would even say anything unprofessional to her. Cash Doll knows how the industry works and she knows that fans are crazy and she should certainly know that artists cannot control how their fans act. So she really shouldn't be blaming Nikki for how her fans act. I just think it wasn't needed but some girls just love to switch. Now it's time for a few nah, special mentions. Nah, why would she say that if Number she one, didn't slide her Remy, Mark, talk Remy to you. everyone wants or is trolling nah, don't put Remy to me. say that you are subliminally dissing Nicki Minaj. Okay. What do you say? First of all, Nicki Minaj never did anything to me. There's no reason for me to suffer. I, don't, I think that's corny. I think when people feel like, oh, to get on or to get people to pay attention to anything, go ask somebody that never did nothing to them. Somebody do it to me, I'm going to want to smack your head off. Like, that's how I'm going to feel. So I try not to do that. And we don't want that to happen. 
and we don't want that to happen. So that's number one. Girl never did nothing to me. Girl never did nothing to me. A few moments later. Forget that I pressed you before, bitch. Fuck Nicki Minaj. Number two. Clearly Party. that was nah. I'm speaking that thing. And number three, Azalea Wait, we, Banks. But she that? switches like every day, so I can't be asked to say yeah, anything. Yeah, let's not put her on here. She Goodbye. Like <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> um. Okay. I don't think Remy should be on here because obviously that was before Remy came out saying that Nikki was trying to fuck up her bag. She said that she was getting booked for stuff, and Nikki was trying to, you know, stop all that. That's what she said. I don't fucking know. I'm not her. I'm not Nikki. I don't know the situation. But that's what was the reason that she said that she wasn't fucking with Nikki. And Remy gives me very genuine vibes. I don't get that she's doing anything for attention or views or nothing. I don't get those vibes from her at all. City girls, yes. But <laughs> Remy, no. Like, she just comes across like a real ass bitch. So... When she said that, I was like, mm. I kind of believed it, honestly. Because why would she just come out the blue saying that? And like I said, she seems like she's a very authentic person. So I was just like, mm, that's kind of shady. Um, and Nikki seems very petty. She's very petty. So I don't put some of the shit people be saying past her at all. I like her. I like her music. But we're not going to act like she, <laughs> you know, don't be acting kind of off sometimes. So, yeah. With Remy, mm, I feel like she had good reason if... What she was saying was true. City girls, I feel like they were really corny. Young Miami talking about, oh, we team Cardi when they were beefing heavy. That's super corny because prior to that, y'all was talking about how much y'all loved her. And then after that, now y'all talking about, oh, we want to collab with her and do a song with her. Like, what are y'all talking about? <laughs> like, if that's the definition of being two-faced, like, what, which is it? Y'all team Cardi just because y'all were doing a song with her and that song was blowing up. But now that all of that has died down, now you want to, oh, go befriend Nicki and you want to do a song with her now? Like, no, that's corny. And JT little rap about Nicki was very whack. Um, so, yeah, a couple people on here definitely was switching up. You could tell some people do do things for uh, attention. Uh, but, you know, that's not always the case. There are a lot of people that have had issues with Nicki Minaj. And you cannot say that it's them every fucking single time. And Nicki Minaj never does no wrong. Fuck out of here. Like I said, Nikki comes across very petty. And I feel like she can be problematic. Absolutely. So we're not going to just act like that's not the case. Fuck out of here with that. Y'all let me know what y'all thought though. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one.